All right, I feel like I'm always really late with these, but I am here today to do my 26 week bump date, right? Yes, 26 weeks. So this week, the baby is the size of an eggplant, and it says that he's 9.2 inches long. I'm not sure if that's a measurement from head to butt or head to toe. I think that's head to butt. And weighs two pounds, two pounds, crazy. Um, I feel like that's a solid baby and it definitely it, I can believe that he's two pounds and I think he might be closer on some of the apps I've said anywhere from a pound and a half to two and a half pounds and I think he's probably closer to two and a half simply because his movements are so big like they're they're just like giant movements like I can sit there and watch my belly just like <laughs> and it's just it's in, it's absolutely insane. Um, but I wanted to get into some of the, I guess I should say, I'm technically, right now, I am 26 weeks and it says week 26, day 4. So, yeah, I'm almost 27 weeks. So, like I said, this is a little late, but I wanted to get it up there anyway. Um, I have a couple notes written down because I can't remember anything because I guess that's one of the things is, uh, pregnancy brain. I have that. <laughs> um... I can't recall anything. I get dates mixed up. I thought for an entire week that my mom was coming down a week earlier than she actually was. The only reason I caught on to it was because I got a bill. And I was like, wait, that's not due yet. And I was like, wait, wait, wait. Oh my gosh, we're not even like, <laughs> we're like not even that far. But anyway, it was, my pregnancy brain is everywhere and I get my words jumbled up and everything. Um, so the last three weeks haven't been like too fun. Uh, some, most of my pregnancy symptoms that I've been experiencing are kind of crappier ones. So I've been getting lightheaded and dizzy. Um, this has kind of been a thing that's been going on my this entire pregnancy, but it's gotten much worse in the past three or four weeks or so. Sometimes I can pinpoint it as to what it is. Like sometimes I can tell like, oh, it's because I haven't drank much water and it's hot out or oh, I just got up really fast and that was just too much at once. Or, oh my goodness, I haven't eaten in a couple hours, I'm probably hungry. But then other times it's just very random to where I don't know why I'm feeling dizzy or lightheaded. Another not so fun symptom I've been having is, I'm not really sure if it's a symptom or if it's even pregnancy related. I have a feeling it's pregnancy related, but I, I can't say for sure. Um, it's my hip, this hip on this side, has been popping out, or it's not popping out, but it makes a, that, that sounds like way worse, but it's just like, it pops. It like, I can feel it pop when I walk too much. Like if we're doing, sometimes even if I'm not walking too much, like some, sometimes even if I've just been home all day and I get up and I start walking around, sometimes it just, it pops. It makes like this like, popping sensation and I can't really quite describe it but it's very annoying it doesn't hurt or anything luckily but it's very uncomfortable and it's very annoying um, it might be because you know my hips are expanding and stuff I can't really tell to be sure though I didn't have it with Riley I don't really know it's just it's really annoying and I hope that once I give birth that it goes away because it seems to just be getting more and more frequent. Another thing I've noticed is sleep is getting a bit more difficult. It's not impossible yet and it's not like super hard, but it's getting a little bit more difficult because little boy has made it known that he does not like anything on my stomach. If there's anything against my stomach, he is kicking it, he is punching it, and he is throwing a fit. So if I'm leaning up doing dishes or something and I'm like leaning against the counter, He's kicking at where my stomach is against the counter. If like Riley's laying her head on me or has her foot, uh, like sometimes when we cuddle, she'll like put her feet up against me, her knees, and um, he'll start kicking at them. If there's anything, if I'm like laying on the on the couch and I kind of have my belly, my hands on my belly, and I'm like pushing down a little too hard, he'll kick at me. He does not like anything on my stomach for some reason. So when I'm sleeping, I still sleep partially on my stomach so I do like a like a mountain like I'm climbing a mountain with one leg hiked up sort of thing it's really weird I don't know how to describe it but I'm like half on my side and then like half on my belly if that makes any sense so the part the side that's a, that's the most on my on the stomach on my the side of me that's laying most on 
my stomach is that was really hard for me to get out is the side that he will just kick and punch and kick and punch at and most nights i'm just so exhausted that i don't even care i'm just like whatever dude i'm going to sleep but then other nights that i'm having troubles going to sleep it's really annoying <laughs> and i'm like dude just let me sleep on my stomach come on um and i know that's kind of a concern for some people is they, they say that you know you shouldn't sleep on your stomach but i've talked to this doctor this time around and when I was pregnant with Riley because I slept on my stomach when I was pregnant with Riley for a really long time um because she didn't she didn't mind she didn't care so I was able to do it for a long time but they said as long as it doesn't hurt then and, and you know then you're fine you're doing you're you're okay sleeping on your stomach so it doesn't hurt or anything the only reason it's uncomfortable is because he's kicking at it but it doesn't hurt it's not physically uncomfortable like some nights he doesn't care like some nights if he's if I fall asleep if I'm going to bed when he's already asleep then there's no issues and I it feels so comfortable to sleep on my stomach still but other nights like I said he'll be wide awake and he'll kick at it and he just makes that's the only reason it's uncomfortable though okay so on to some more rather embarrassing symptoms that I've been having are one my gas is horrendous Maybe it's been my diet, but my gas has been horrendous, like disgusting. Uh, the other night I was cuddling with Riley and she just got up and left the entire room. Like she, she was just like, mom, it stinks in here. And she just left like in the middle of cuddling. <laughs> so like, that's how bad I know it is. And she farts all the time. So like, she like farts are nothing. She normally just laughs at them. And like, we talk like, she's like, oh, you farted, like ha ha ha. But the other night she just straight up got up and left. <laughs> And then another another embarrassing thing that happened recently, I think it was the other week, I was at the grocery store and <laughs> now my bladder, my like I think it's your pelvic floor that controls that all this like sort of thing. Uh it's never been super strong since ever since I gave birth to Riley, but since I've been pregnant it, it's gotten worse. <laughs> and now that I'm even farther along and like he's two pounds and he's putting pressure on there it's gotten so much worse that the other day i was at the grocery store i can't believe i'm saying this the other day i was at the grocery store and i did like a sneeze cough or like and i don't sneeze once for some reason if i sneeze i'm sneezing like five times in a row i don't know why i've always been like that i never sneeze just once or twice like it's always like a big ordeal whenever i sneeze um, and I was at the grocery store and I sneezed and I coughed and I was like having like a sneezing fit and then I coughed from it and I just pretty much full on pissed my pants in the middle of the grocery store. I was almost done with my grocery shopping, thank God, but I pretty much full on pissed my pants in the grocery store. Luckily I was wearing black leggings so you couldn't really see anything. But I had already gotten all my fresh produce and I was down the fruit, fr the fruit, the freezer aisle so I was almost ready to check out and I just pissed my pants and I had to run to the bathroom and with my full shopping cart like my legs pressed as tight together as they could trying not to look like a freak going to the bathroom and I you know I had to clean myself up and then the best I could do at the time was roll up some toilet paper and just like stick it in my underwear and whatever and hope that it doesn't get like that it kind of soaks up some of it and then I quickly checked out and I went home and I had to like, you know, take a shower and clean myself. But I was like, Ugh, why? I mean, it wasn't terrible. It, like it wasn't like it was running down my leg or anything, but it was definitely enough to the point where it was gross and I was so embarrassed and I was really hoping that nobody could tell because like I said, I had black leggings on. So yeah. <laughs> But anyway, aside from that, I have my glucose test coming up in a little under two weeks now since I'm already almost 27 weeks filling this. So in a little over two weeks, I have my glucose test. I am a little bit nervous about that simply because of the whole lightheaded Disney dizziness stuff that I was talking about earlier. I'm really afraid that has to do with my, my blood sugar being low. I don't know. I... You know, they tell you not to do Dr. Google, but you always do it anyway. So I was on Google and I was Googling like reasons for that. And they said, uh, there's like hyperglycemia and then hypoglycemia. And one of them has to do with low blood sugar. So often it's um, in pregnancy, it's a symptom of, or often in pregnancy, people have hyperglycemia. Well, I think that I might have hypoglycemia, which means my blood sugar is low, not high. 
so kind of the opposite that most people have but i have a feeling that that might be what's going on i don't know i plan to talk to my doctor about it a bit more but hopefully i'm praying that i that i can cross my fingers and praying that i pass my glucose test and that it's not that and that it's just simply a pregnancy thing that i'm just gonna have to deal with this pregnancy and hopefully it's not anything worse than that but anyway yeah i have that coming up in two weeks hopefully since we literally have nothing for this baby so far we have a little stack of clothes that we've gotten like here and there but really that's about all we have now i think i talked about this a couple bump dates ago but we are going to give him riley's old crib that she currently uses so we need to go shopping for new furniture for her which hopefully we're going to get done in the next month or so so hopefully once we get that done then we can kind of get his little area in our room set up and yeah i think that's about it my belly oh that's another thing i wanted to talk about really quick is my belly i'm not going to show like with my shirt up just because i'm like super self-conscious about it but i got a lot of self, a lot of uh, stretch marks when i was pregnant with riley the first time like a lot like across the top the bottom and on my sides and over the time they've obviously like they're not red or anything anymore they're very skin toned and like if you're not if you're looking at me from a far away you probably won't even notice them but they're definitely noticeable and i've noticed the ones up at the top are starting to get pigmented again they're not bright red yet but they're starting to get some color in them which is <laughs> i mean there's nothing i can do to really prevent it i've read that stretch marks are just genetic like you can slather yourself up with oil and butter and <laughs> I sound like a turkey. Uh, what's that stuff that I'm thinking of? That coconut oil? I, I did coconut oil last pregnancy and that shea butter. That's where I kept getting oil and butter from. I just sound like I was baking a turkey or something. Uh, so I did that last time and I still got so many stretch marks. So this time I'm not even, I don't even care. It's, it is what it is. It's, and then another thing about my belly. My belly is just an absolute disaster right now with the stretch marks coming in and it's super hairy <laughs> it's really gross and i'm hoping that it's done getting hairy because it's hairy i don't like it and i'm self-conscious about it even though it's you know we're about to be fall and winter and i'm not going to be showing my belly to anybody but i'm just self-conscious about it because i'm like ew that looks gross but anyway i'm gonna do a belly shot and i think that's it the belly i'm doing this against a i probably should have something better to do this against but there it is. I feel like he's right here. This little area right here. That's where I'm getting my stretch marks. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it for this bump date. I'm going to try to be doing these a bit more frequently. I know I said originally like way back when that I want to do these every two weeks. And then it kind of turned into every month. And then every three weeks. And I really want to get back to every two weeks. And then hopefully as I get even farther along... Hopefully I can start doing them every single week when there's a bit more going on and I have a bit more to report. I just feel like I don't have every, I don't have anything to report every single week, but I do want to start doing these more frequently and get back on track with them. Um, cause they seem like they're the most, they're, I feel like that's why most people have subscribed to me is because that they want to see these sorts of things and I just don't do them that often. I'd rather do a vlog cause really likes watching them and yada yada yada. But anyway, thanks so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again at... 28 weeks.